Welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo, we're here at the South Park Center. I'm delighted to be joined by Jin Sui with her fantastic film, Tequila Sunset. Let's take a look at the clip. Hello, Valley customers. Check out aisle five for our in-store special on coconut water. Two for one dollar. <laughs> Way, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the New Filmmakers LA family, and thank you so much for bringing your amazing film, Tequila Sunset. Of course, yeah. Thank you. Last night was so amazing. Seeing your film on the big screen with us was fantastic. Uh, but for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, um, Tequila Sunset um, is my um, second year MFA project. It follows Jia. Mm -hmm. um, she is the caregiver of her husband who has Al Alzheimer's disease, and on her birthday, she attempts to take a much needed break. And she deserves it. She yeah. really, really does. Yeah. Uh, she, she, her, the character you created was so brilliant. Like, I, I fell in love with her. She is amazing. Um, where did the inspiration come for you in creating this story? Yeah, um, so the story um, is largely um, inspired by my parents story by my parents experience mm. so my father has alzheimer's and my mom has been taking care of him for um, almost 10 years wow. and so you know like being their only child and so far away from them yeah. um just watching my mom how she like just like limit unlimited patience and love and caring for my father yeah. I, I i as a filmmaker i i i, I I, f I just felt the need and the desire to make a film for her and for all the caregivers for oh. Alzheimer's patients. Yeah. This way, that's so amazing. And thank you so much for doing that. And, and thank you also for making a film so personal to you and, and to your, your mom and dad. I mean, it's your own story, but it's a universal one where many families and people around the world have, have been through and gone through. Yeah. Um, you know, the characters you created were amazing and very much so your mum deserved it well well this character's mum there's a, a good break um and there was definitely like you know some dramatic moments but also some comedic moments as well you know which was fantastic to watch um how did you go about taking this personal story and then deciding to turn it into a film uh, where did that inspiration come from in, in deciding to actually turn it into a film yeah, th thanks for asking yeah. that. So like even though the like it based on my parents story, yeah. um, even though it's the subject matter is quite is rather serious, right? Yeah. It's about like, oh, um, Alzheimer's is about caregivers, all that. Um, personally, I don't want to make make it like a depressing and yeah. serious film. Like there's a lot of great films on that topic already, for yes. example, like um, Haneke's Amour. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a, another Hong Kong movie uh, directed by An Hui called Summer Snow. Uh -huh. um, and there's um, like uh, Still Alice. Yeah. But for me, I I I'm thinking maybe I can added some like comedic tone yeah. to make it light and funny, and and also to make it more complex in a way like yeah. just like that character, right? Yeah. Like there's so many Asian outer women. They are, like those characters on screen, they're always very like quiet. They yeah. are always, okay, sacrifice everything. They're always somebody's mom, somebody's yeah. partner. Yeah. But for this one, I, I'm thinking about, okay, they have their own desire. They have yeah. their own need, what they want. What, what's their fantasy? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that part is very fun to explore in the form of dark comedy. Yeah, absolutely. You did, I mean, honestly, you did such a great job and I feel it was healing, it was educating, it entertained people, and anyone out there that's been through it, that's understand like yourself, 
Um, you know, you had a great take in it and we don't see enough from that perspective. And I loved how you also showed the complex of character as a caregiver, as someone that does have Alzheimer's, you know, you really channeled that really well. Now you created these amazing characters. Like I was just, I mean, honestly, like I feel like she could have her own TV series. She was, she was amazing. Um, how did you go about creating the characters and bringing your cast together? Yeah, um, casting is, um, is a difficult process because, to be honest, it's quite difficult to find uh, actors at that age who yeah. can speak Cantonese yeah. at LA. Yeah. It's extremely difficult because I, I just, like I intentionally want the film to be in Cantonese yeah. because um, with that language it brings some sort of like character and yeah. attitude into the film and it also makes sense right yeah of course so yeah but gratefully i i, I found uh, both of my actors uh, through other like uh, projects mm -hmm. and it's very lovely to work with them and when they receive the script they were like oh my god it's a chinese dark comedy oh. and they love it yeah I was, it must be so nice to speak in like speaking Cantonese and do a Chinese film here in Los Angeles. How wonderful as well. Um, I love the set you created. I wanted to go to this place that she was at, Tequila Sunset. It was beautiful. How is it bringing the production together as well? Where did you actually film it? Um, so the so the beach part we actually yeah. filmed at like Santa Monica. In Santa Monica. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> yeah, we went there and and film it and have you know like all the hunks. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you found that. Where did you find all those men? My goodness. It was like, it was so beautiful. It was a brilliant scene. Oh my God. That was so wonderful. Yeah, my producer, they literally like go to gym. <laughs> really? Yeah, they went to gym. They went to, you know, the beach and see like any like hot guys. They just approach and say, okay, you know, like we are filming, you know, an old lady fantasy scene. Would you be part of an old lady fantasy? You're joking. That yeah. is, that's, a, that's amazing. Okay, so you basically cast it in the gym I love that I love that. that's amazing um, as a director you know obviously you've got this dark comedy element so which usually means it's kind of a serious tone to it but also a comedic tone how do you work with your actors as a director like what's your kind of process in but this particular story yeah so I think there's something interesting about dark comedy versus like okay full-on comedy mm -hmm. is dark comedy because like like you said like there's a contrast be between the, like the seriousness the mm -hmm. dark side of it and then mm -hmm. the comedic the light side of it yeah so like how to keep a balance um for me it's always i look for the truth yeah i look for the emotional and what's right for the scene mm -hmm. i ask i i when i talk to my actors like i say like oh just don't even think about comedy no oh, just yeah, yeah. just just when you're fully committed into something and then when when the scene itself is dramatic, people will feel find it funny oh, and yeah. find it interesting. So I just ask them, okay, just just um, be in the scene, and you know because the genre is my part of job. Yeah, they don't yeah, need yeah. to think about. That's it. such yeah, yeah. good advice, actually. Like the way you said, just don't don't look at it as comedy. Like just you know play it straight, which I think is brilliant. And really really great advice. Um, now, in terms of like filming and production, either like pre or during production or after, was there any challenges? I'm sure there was a challenge even in like filming in Santa Monica. That must have been a challenge. But what was the bigger challenges that you had and what have you learned from this particular film? Yeah, thank you. Um, this film is actually made during COVID. Wow. Yeah, like we were planning to shoot in uh, 2020 uh, February, mm -hmm. but it got shut down. The yeah. The, the first time when we tried to film it, it got shut down because of COVID. And then we've been like, we waited for a whole year. Yeah. And then we did it in uh, 2021 mm -hmm. summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that process is a bit difficult for me because mm -hmm. like when you're about to make a film, it's like you, you plan for um, um, a money heist. Yes. <laughs> and then you are so ready. You are right in front of the bank. <laughs> and then, okay, you cannot do it. Oh, goodness. And you then I wait for that. Yeah. yeah. And then I wait for a year to, like, uh, I guess, uh, spend more time with the script, mm -hmm. spend more time with the story. And, and I, I think the most important thing is spend more time with myself. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm glad that we have that extra year. Yeah, no, absolutely. And look at the magic that you got with it. Looking back on, on, on making this project, there's 
so much you can take from this film. Um, and I feel like you've taken a new take on, on, on Alzheimer's and carers in a way that we haven't seen before. It's so great that it was in Cantonese as well and got all the comedic elements and all the dramatic moments and really, really fantastic. What did you want your audience to take from your film? Wow. I guess is. I guess it's a question that we, we all kind of think about it, like at certain, in, in a certain time in our life. Yeah. Is how much patience and how much love we can actually give to another person. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. and also like, um, Alzheimer's is not. Like, I guess for a lot of people, like we always felt like, oh, it's a topic that is so far away from us. Mm -hmm. But it's actually happened next to us. It's very close. Mm -hmm. Like people just don't talk about it openly. Yeah. Like for example, like when I uh, screen my film at some places and, 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 and like out of my expectation, like there's a lot of people came to me and said, oh, that is that, that thing exactly like just like my family mm. like my mom have been through the same thing wow. um oh i'm also a caregiver and i just wow I, I was i was surprised by actually how many people have the same experience yeah i think that's amazing because i think people whether you've been through it or you know someone that's gone through it like you say it's actually not as far away and people don't talk about it. but i think you making this film's created space for people to be more confident in talking about it, which is credit to you. Um, we loved having your film at New Filmmakers LA. Um, I definitely wanted a tequila after I watched your film. I was like, oh, this is, this is amazing. Um, Thank you. <laughs> in fact, someone at the bar yesterday said, so do you have any tequila? So <laughs> that's the inspiration you brought to us. Um, but I would say like, you know, it was wonderful feeling it on a, in a, you know, on a big screen and we loved having it. How was the experience at the festival? How, how has the experience been with New Filmmakers LA? Yeah, like yesterday's, uh, when I was at the screening, it's very fun to watch, like to it feel is. the room, to f like yeah. to feel like people's reaction. Like mm -hmm. for example, like the first um, attempt murder. Yes. <laughs> murder, <laughs> like there's a, Wow, the room is just so quiet. <laughs> I can feel like people can tell, like, okay, is it actually happening <laughs> now? Like, yeah. d did she really like kill the husband or or <laughs> or not? Like, there there's a moment of tension in the air, yeah, and then okay, when we reveal that is a fantasy, like people like I can feel like people like oh. yeah, yeah, I know. There was a moment in there where I stopped breathing because I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen now? So you, you gave us a lot of little scare jumps, which was really really cool. Um, what is next for you? Yeah, um, currently I'm developing, uh, I guess, a feature version of the film. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I That's want so to. Exciting. Yeah, I want to continue that story and explore that character a bit more yeah. because, um, yeah, there's just I I just want to make films for you know like Chinese, yeah, um, elder woman. I yeah. think there's they, they, there's a lot of story around them that haven't been told like Absolutely. what's their desire what's their expectation yeah. what they want from life at yeah. that age they are still craving for love yeah. for a companionship all that yeah well, i'm so glad that you're doing that i'm so glad you're making a feature because i wasn't done with this story i wanted more so you know there's so much more i'm sure in the future that you can unravel so i'm really excited for that so thank you very much for bringing more to uh more to tequila sunset um, and just to finally, like, in your experience thus far, James Way, like, in your experience, like, do you have any advice as a filmmaker, what you could share with other filmmakers out there that you kind of go by in your creativity? Mm. For me personally, um, I felt like it's always good to, to really find what's like what's inside you, like mm -hmm. always look inside what you truly believe, what, what kind of story you, you, you feel that, okay, you, you have to say. It's, it's like, excuse my, yeah. my, my, it's almost like a vomit. Yeah. Like, like it's right here. Like yeah. you, 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 you want to get it out like so badly. Yeah. Um, and I think the beauty of a of, of film, it's something that you cannot do in life. 
Yeah. Like something you cannot express through words. Yeah. We, ex we express it through cinema. And I think, like, like just think about like what, what kind of thing like you want to use film to express. Yeah. That, that, I'm so glad we don't hear that like enough. And I love that you, you know, people go searching for stories, but you're like reminding us that there's so many stories like inside of us that we could be passionate about, that we can unleash. And that was a great analogy of vomit. Like I literally <laughs> should feel that way. So, you know, sorry, buddy, but you know, to be honest. Um, it's such a pleasure to have you here. And I'm so glad that you're a filmmaker and thank you so much. And welcome to the new filmmakers family. But thank you for Tequila Sunset. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, James, for everybody.